what Metro Atlanta City is rethinking how it will redecorate for the holidays. The issue? They didn't want to offend any religious groups. New at noon, CBS 46's Rebecca Schramm explains. It all started last year when Dunwoody's new city hall had both a Christmas tree and a menorah. Someone asked for a manger scene, and that's when city leaders decided it's time to come up with a policy. Some city governments, like the city of Smyrna, host tree lighting ceremonies every year. Dunwoody has Light Up Dunwoody, which features Christian and Jewish symbols, but the city does not sponsor that event. The Dunwoody Homeowners Association does. Still, as Dunwoody city leaders began discussing a new policy on religious symbols in public spaces, resident um, Jerry Penn, who is Jewish, is spoke Christmas. out. Dunwoody is a diverse city, and if you represent one, then you should represent all. Otherwise, it could be considered discriminatory. The city was considering a policy that included lists showing which religious items were allowed in common areas and which ones were not. But that was getting complicated. Some argued over whether a tree or Santa Claus would be allowed. My suggestion would be for the city to have seasonal displays representing the four seasons. This would not offend any religion. In the end, to keep from violating the Constitution, Dunwoody City Council voted Monday night on a policy that prohibits all religious symbols in common areas of city buildings unless they are part of a display celebrating religious diversity. Passes seven to nothing, as amended. City employees are still allowed to have religious displays at their desk or office space. In Dunwoody, Rebecca Schram, CBS 46 News.